Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel, and I'm here today to show you guys this nonsensical machine that I put together. It's a spinny tower of death using modded turrets, or modded broadside cannons, basically. They have some limited range on them, but they can aim themselves somewhat. They're pretty awesome. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and use these yourself. I like them a fair amount. So, this structure, believe it or not, isn't just a random sitting here thing. All these different pieces spin. Also, believe it or not, it's all survival ready. So if I was actually to go ahead and cut out that light, cut through here and start chopping into this, you'll see it has a connection point. If I cut through here, you'll see it has a full piping setup. So all the pipes go through the advanced rotor there into all of these. And if we were even to cut that out, you can see we have a gyroscope stuck right in the middle, which is currently turned off. And that's what actually spins all these, because if we were to set the rotors up to be the things causing these to spin, well, you might find yourself in a spot of bother where they don't really want to spin opposite directions like I want them to. The main idea here is that this rotor, well, this gyroscope will spin this maybe clockwise, the one above it will be counterclockwise, which I'll just show you in a moment. Whereas if you use rotors to do that, you can sometimes end up in a spot of bother, as I said, where they'll, you'll have to counter the spin of the one below it with the one on top, and you end up at a point where you can't actually make them go any faster or the opposite direction, it seems. Anyway, I just cut that open. Now I can show you that we do have gyroscopes down here to hold this in place, as well as one thruster aiming up to allow the station, if need be, to attempt to go downwards. One thruster probably won't do that, but its main idea is that maybe if something bumps the station and it slowly starts to move up, it could possibly slow it down. Of course, we have three cargo containers to store any ammo you'd like to store. Um, and then three reactors, which uh, for some reason I didn't exactly put them all in one line. I've put two at the top and one at the bottom. And of course the pipe that you would expect that links up that advanced rotor and all the way up the whole thing. Anyway, let's, let's go ahead and just turn the station on and I'll actually show you what it looks like when it's working. And let's of course also delete these. I should also point out that when I was setting up those gyroscopes to spin this, it actually took a quite a few tries because I, each of these different spinning sections is a piece that I just copied and pasted in. I figured doing so, the gyroscopes would be in order, so I just selected every other one and then set those to spin one direction, set all the others to spin, but they often spun in the same direction. So I had to actually do this one at a time, pasting in a modular section, setting it to spin, pasting the next one, setting it to spin the other direction. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You see my character is floating here, aimed at a control panel, so I can access that from anywhere. And we'll just go ahead and select the rotor, no, the gyroscopes. There we are. And spinning gyroscopes and turn those on. There you go. And now you can see what I was talking about. It's a uh, pretty interesting thing. It almost looks like a laser light show. If I was to actually go ahead and turn on the idle movements of these as well, it might even look a little bit odder. So let's go ahead and do that with the weapons. Turn on idle movements. There we are. Nope, still looks like the same sort of light show we had a second ago. I do love these turrets, though. Or I keep calling them turrets, broadside cannon things. They, um, actually, they do have a bit of idle movement. And I love the, well, I want to keep calling, wanting to call it symmetrical, but the unison motion between all these is just, I find it beautiful. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it something to shoot at. And to do that, we'll go ahead and first just copy one of these little guys down here. Basically, one of those segments I was talking about, and paste it in. And you'll see right away, as they spin along, once they get in range, they'll open fire at it. I originally had these spinning a lot faster, but rather unfortunately they spun by so quickly they couldn't get a target lock on it. And you can see they've already downed that piece. They can end up taking them out pretty quickly. And if we actually make a bit of a cloud of them, we might end up with some interesting footage here of, <laughs> as they spin around in different directions, they'll lock on and start shooting them out. This one, unfortunately, though, I did paste in moving at a bit of a speed. <laughs> and you can see pieces of it have come loose. Let's go ahead and move our camera down here. So you can see as they spin around, they acquire their target and fire. I find it really nice. Something about it I just enjoy an awful lot. Anyway, I have one last thing to sort of demonstrate, test, show, or however you want to say it. So we'll paste a copy of this in right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and paste in. Well, not really paste in, but let's go ahead and set this one to be owned by an enemy NPC. And the second I do that, they should begin shooting at each other. So now we have a chaotic, ridiculous sort of back and forth between a friendly tower and a not so friendly tower. And you can see they're pretty much taking each other apart. Now, the funny thing is the way this is set up that if the very bottom rotor is broken, the entire tower will shut itself off because rather unfortunately, 
each of the different segments doesn't have any power. So you can see at the very top, there are still a few functional turrets, but they've been severed from the main line, so they are not going to function at all. Unfortunately, it looks like actually the left tower has lost very quickly. Now we could go ahead and paste in a few of these and have basically a killer ring around an enemy turret. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quickly before we end this video. Oh boy. Wow, they're all starting to fire at the, uh, yeah, the farther away they are, the lower the, down they can aim, I guess. And a lot of ways. There we go. Hopefully they won't shoot through their own turrets good. And now what I'm going to do is paste one more right here in the middle. And I'm going to fly over to it and set it to be owned by, uh, well, an enemy AI once again. And it'll probably get devastated very quickly. So let's fly over and do that. Wow, you can see that they are making some close shots. Okay, I thought they were shoot th that turret was shooting like right past this one, but it's just the turrets of this one, of course, firing. And I do love the symmetrical, I keep on calling it symmetrical, the unified movement of these all. It's beautiful. I do also have lights that are flashing on all these and all sorts of other silly looks like that. So let's go ahead and take you once again and set you to be owned by enemy NBC. Okay, and we quickly exit that. And yeah, <laughs> something else. Wow, that thing didn't last a second. Like, wow. I don't know what I expected, honestly. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's it. I just thought this was something silly that I put together that I'd like to share. Um, I find it interesting. I like motion like this. Ah, yep, that's it. Anyway guys, thanks a bunch for watching, and I shall see you next time. Still shooting it. Ta-ta.